Slow Nation, here we go. Day two, 5K, game on. Let's look at the board, let's get out of here. Here's the deal. Friday, 5K, day two, 12 p.m. start time. We have 49,000 chips at 600, 1200, 200 ante. 40 bigs, dinner's at 640, one hour levels. That's the declaration. We're gonna take our time, we're gonna bag 296. And it's Mike's birthday, let's do it for him. Let's have a good day. Uh, well, I have good and bad news. So the bad news is we are out of the 5K. I'll talk about that in a little bit, but I was walking out of the room and we saw someone who has a little more good news and we're gonna, we like good news on the Flow Show. So we are here with Motion. I always say the name is Motion. Motion. Motion, I always say Motion. But Mo, whatever, you know when you win a bracelet, you know, Mo, yeah, we'll go by Mo. We call him Motion, Motion, Mo. Who cares, he has a bracelet. And literally, this is a true story. I, the release of the vlog happened and then I heard, I didn't even know your head's like, your head's up, I look over and then you won the bracelet. So tell us, the Triple Crown has completed. We talked about it. The day, I think it was a couple days, three, four days ago, you said, I'm going to win the 3K PLO. You were incorrect, so I have to say, one, sorry, you were wrong. You, you took the one one after. Yeah. Um, you said, you know what, it hasn't been working, I gotta declare it. So tell us, what uh, what worked, what, what happened? Uh, I might have just gotten some good Jeff Gross mojo. <laughs> uh, so I might have to come on this all the time. Every time I play an event, I'm just gonna come find you before. It's perfect, we'll take uh, it. I don't know, ran good, that's how you win tournaments. Nice, and uh, you played, it looked like, and we had Andy Frankenberger on as well, like a couple days before. He was Final Four. Kerry Katz, who played heads up, obviously with Poker Central, plays a lot of high rollers and uh, with, does really well. So, Kerry, how was that battle? Was it? Did you have a big lead? Was it a close match? Um, I just had a really big chip lead, and I made a straight like the third hand, and Kerry had top pair. So it was actually not a very long heads up, but Kerry's really tough. Yeah. So. Guys, this is actually one of, not as it's, it's really more special than you can know because the Triple Crown, like you said, the EPTs yeah. no longer exist. Not. You can call it Stars Championship. I don't know, do you know is that? I know like personally I wouldn't, I mean it seems kind of fishy, but are people counting that as like a Triple uh, Crown? I think now? they'll bring back the EPTs at some point. This is they're EPTs, you gotta bring them back. For sure, well yeah, so now you have won an EPT, you've won a World Poker Tour, and now the World Series of Poker is complete. How I mean, is it, like was it, I gotta feel pretty good, that's pretty sweet. I mean, how many, it was like five guys, four or five guys that have done that only? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty awesome. Anytime you win a tournament, it's pretty awesome, so, I don't know. Maybe it has to hit me. Yeah, really, big congrats, great player, great guy. Congrats to you. I'm gonna talk about my stuff in a little bit, you know, man, seriously, congrats. That's yeah. quite an honor, and we'll, we'll see you around yeah. the rest of the summer. Yeah. Later. Mo, call him Mo, call him Mosin, call him what you want. He just won a bracelet, and we are, we are actually a little bit dumb, um, we're a little bit dumbfounded right now what just happened. We just got all in with, we had, we had 100,000, like 10 off the money. Uh, like 104 left, and we basically, uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to say this, the guy, remember the aces to ace jack off to 10's hand, we lost to Indian Stars Pro, I told you, nice guy, so he's at our table, two to our right, and we're in the small blind, and the button shoves all in, we look down at two black aces, so we call, we actually went all in, because I'm not really trying to even trap another guy in a big blind, like whatever, we just ship it in. Guy turns over two fours and he flops a four. Comes like queen jack four, turn, king, river, whatever, and that was it. I mean, we just, oh, so actually we still haven't covered like 50K. Blinds are going to two four. We get in the butt, we are on the button then, and we jam a six suited. Small blind snap folds, big blind starts, Martin Stasco starts tanking. I think I have to call, I don't know what to do. I'm like, holy shit, he's not just acting. And he, he tanks for a while and calls with ace king off. The board, it was not a great flop. It was like five, two, nine, turn, four, two, nine, turn, four. So the board paired, we had some chop outs or a six. It was one spade on the flop and the river's a brick and that was just it. Like, literally just like that, we went from 98,000, basically cruising. We would have knocked out a 45K shove. We would have had like 160 on the bubble. And just like that, we are, uh, and then we end up bubbling. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna lick our wounds. Maybe hop in this um, 7 p.m. phase, I guess. 
it's pretty tough to just go play a 5k and then play a 365 seriously but uh we have one more bullet on the stakings package for that we'll play that and i am at a loss for words but you know what i'm playing great it's one thing if you feel like you're in your ass kicked or you're in there just hanging on but we played well we chipped up we made some good plays made some good calls came up a little short and got our aces cracked all in pre-flop sent us on a little spiral so i will uh check in with you guys in a bit we'll see what we do the rest of the day and we got some some sweats in the glide today a couple of our buddies kind of leading it which is exciting got some pieces so talking a little bit happy birthday mp and what a bummer checking in a bit all right so we're the 1500 after our elimination we got a lucky two. Oh, man 5k bubble aces cracked pre not the dream not the dream but here we go here we go All right, in all seriousness, we're hopping in the 1500. Still our summer. Just don't know when it's gonna come. It could be right in the 1500, we may just spin it right up. That's the plan, we're gonna hop in there, we're gonna gamble while we're young, let's get it done. Well, here's what just happened. We go sit down, late reg the 1500, then we get it all in, ace jack suited, we shove. Big blind calls us with king jack suited. Flops flush draw, he turns the king and rivers the flush. So he hit the king and the flush. Uh, we were dominating him, and now we're in the giant. And it's our fourth bullet on the state kings package. We did actually cash this already, so this will be our fourth bullet. And uh, yeah, it's already cashed for like 620. So we'll see what happens. We're gonna play it, and then uh, go from there. So good luck us and we're keep getting it in good and did not hold again so that's okay we're gonna like i said variance comes in funny ways let's uh let's keep it going here comes the giant third term of the day no i think it's level nine did he call oh <laughs> shit we're our game we're gambling out here gamble, gamble. Um, I don't know, honestly. I think right like level eight. Yeah, I think I just worked. I so, so either I'm gonna hit the gutter ball or run, runner flush. Oh shit! Look at the value shove. East. All right, hold on. Take your time. This is a big one. It's been a tough day, Cameron. I don't want to bust three tournaments in one day. Hold on. Take your time. That's a good one. He doesn't have a little baby. No, just no paint. Any no paint. There's the paint. We're no good. Nice hand, sir. Nice hand. Yeah. Any paint. Just had to fade the paint. That's a guy that can do it. Some guys can do it. <laughs> nice hand. He's in the Middle East. <laughs> wow, that was a perfect hand to be against. Didn't have a draw. It's all right. Good luck, everybody. Good day. What? A day. You literally just yes, busted live, live. in dramatic fashion again. It's going to make it all the sweeter when we get when we get it done. We raise eights, get seven colors. It comes seven, nine, ten, diamond, diamond. We have black eights. You know, I say, you know what? Let's gamble. Let's try to get some chips. We ship it in. Guy says, ah, whatever I call. Queen, king off, black. Turn four, brick, river, jack. So we make this straight, but he makes the nut straight. Uh, big pot. We, we would have been chilling. Now we got to rebuy a new table. So giant. It's going to be our fifth total bullet. So we have like 45k from 20k getting pretty deep here all right we're on we are on break in the giant i was just uh, meeting a uh, george here who also is in the giant and he says he watches the vlogs and um man it's uh it's great to hear this has been a long rough day for me out i busted the 5k on the bubble busted 1500 got it in nice busted here got it in good rebought now i'm in still so i've had like a really long day it's nice to see a friendly face give us a little uh, pick me up. So tell us a little about yourself and what and how's it going in this tournament? Oh, I I I, uh, I, I was lucky. So I'm I'm at like a 40k right now. Okay. Uh, and uh, just kind of hanging there. But uh, yeah, you inspire me. That's why we came here to to play the poker. I'm watching you walk every day. And, uh, wow, man. I really wanna. I like your energy, and I wanna. I wish I had the same energy like you have all day. It's very flattering to say that. I honestly, it, like, I've had a few people mention say things like that. Yeah. that. That to me is what it's about. I love that. Cause yeah. like, and, and your family is very supportive. Yeah. It's like it's very, you know, very hard for 
for you in being a game and it, 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 you can play with your dad at the same time. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, right. well, I appreciate that and uh, that's what I like. That's what I want poker to be more fun. People yes. to come try it. It yeah. doesn't have to be your living. It can yeah. be a hobby. It can be once in a while, but people not to be scared to come to the table, think people are mean or like it's not fun and oh, it's I like intimidating. Dylan, you guys ready? All your seat yeah. cards are in yeah. order. Yeah. Our band is going to die. I see it flashing, but uh, very nice to meet you, man. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks, Joe. George, everybody. All right, we're going to go back and play. Adding funds to our account because we're going to play the 3K bracelet event tomorrow online for the WSOP. It does count as a bracelet, and we're going to be firing that tomorrow. So we're just make sure we have enough in case we need to reload or whatnot on WSOP.com. Good luck, us. So the day is over. We have just, it's 12.05 at night. We've just been eliminated for the second time in the Giant. I was trying to bag chips to join my dad um, in the phase two, which is July 8th. So there is still one more shot, but I don't think we'll be able to play it most likely. And it's right before the main event. So yeah, this was, uh, this was maybe one of the more frustrating days of poker I've ever had. I'm literally exhausted. I've been knocked out of, in theory, four tournaments today. Even though the 5K was a day two, we finished um, like seven or eight people off the money. We had aces in the small blind. Um, John Paul Savad, I believe his name is, he won the one, one million in Montreal when we got the, we were doing the commentary on that final table. He shoved the big blind, or the button, for about 17 big blinds. We had black aces in the small blind. We went all in. He had fours, he hit a four. The next hand, we're on the button with the A6 suited. We had like 15 blinds. We're getting close to money, but my hand's just too good to do anything. But I can't really fold. Ray's folding bad, so I shove, and I run into Ace King by Martin Stasko, who actually didn't even like calling it off with the Ace King. He like tanked for a while. I was like, holy shit, what, is he gonna fold Ace Jack or something, or Ace Queen? He had Ace King, he called. He didn't improve. We were That was the one time we were behind all day, which would never have happened if we had hold the Aces. We have a ton of chips, and we're never going on with Ray's and play a pop up. So that was annoying. Then I fired the 1500, which was actually, like, knowing we we're having 15 blinds, we lay regit, we get in a good spot, ace jack suited, ace jack of clubs, we shove, big blind tanks and calls his lot of chips, he calls king jack suited. Great spot, he flops a flush draw, turns the king, rivers a spade, so we hit the turn king and made the flush, so we were just out of that, okay. I said, you know what, I'm not gonna nail it in, I'm gonna play the giant. I'm gonna go play it, my dad made day two, let me hop in there. We get in, we have a pretty good table, we raise with eights, it comes 10, 9, 7, diamond, diamond, we have black eights, like seven way. I was like, you know what, it's a rebuy, let me try to gamble. I shove all in into seven people with eights, open-ended, with a pair, folds around to one guy, decides to call with king, queen, high, no diamond in his hand, which is a pretty ridiculous call, but hey, he might be, he's trying to gamble too, no problem. I wasn't expecting to be ahead if I got called. Sure enough, it's actually one of the better hands I could be called with and be ahead. And the turn is a brick four, our table's breaking, so like I'm, you know, about to move. River J bomb. He makes the stone nuts. Not only does he make the king high straight nuts, we actually make the straight with the jack. So like, if a diamond draw had called us, if a set had called us, if any other hand besides that hand basically had called, we would have won. So we're out, no problem. We rebuy, we build it up, we build it up. We're playing good, and then finally here at the end. Right now it's 12:05. We showed for like 12 blinds in the cutoff and that we've been a little bit aggressive. And this dude calls off with ace-four suited, which is not a very good call offhand because even if you are ahead, there's really not much you're ahead of. And if you are, if I do have like a king-10 or jack-queen, you're barely ahead. So that was super frustrating. The guy called ace-four parts and flopped the four and helped. And that ended our day. So those are the turns we got knocked out of. I'm really happy with how we played. I'm exhausted. And uh, tomorrow's the online 3300, so we're gonna uh, Make sure we have enough on there online to play that tomorrow. I should be streaming that on Twitch, JumpPostPoker.tv, which just should be released about that time. Maybe I'll even be deep in that tournament. You see it. So playing great when you're out of here. They're asking us to leave, and I'm really happy with my play. Frustrating days, most frustrating you could ever have it, but I feel good. Um, I feel like I played well, and I'm going to just keep my head up. There's really nothing else I can do. You guys hear the hands. You can't get tested any more in this. I know it's going to come in a big way, and we have a big result, whether it's the main event, one of these last events coming up here, but we're playing great, we're getting deep, we're putting in the time. Let's see where it ends up, how the summer ends. I'm not ready to throw in a towel, and I know you're not either, Flow Nation. Let's uh, keep it going. We're gonna go get some sleep.